Welcome to our channel. So in this video we will see the project on the software development and the name of project is student ERP stream. So this is an Android Java application which is uh, designed to streamline the management of students information and enhance the communication between the administrators and the users. So our system comprises of two modules admin and user and for development of this project the front end was implemented using the Android Studio which is a popular integrated development environment for the android application then xml java and the android sdk and the backend of the system leverages the firebase which is a powerful and flexible cloud based platform which offers various services uh, including real time database authentication and the storage firebase was chosen to handle the data management efficiently and uh, provide the seamless integration with the android application now let's see the demo of the application so let's see the demo of student erp application so this is the splash screen so in this application we have two modules so admin and user module let's first go with the admin module so here admin needs to register for login the application Let's register. So here admin needs to enter his uh, name. Then here need to enter the email. Then enter the password as one two three four five six seven eight. Then here admin needs to enter his mobile number. And if the mobile number is wrong, so it will validate. So let's enter the wrong mobile number as a uh, digit. So if I click on the register, so it will save enter the valid mobile number so mobile number must be 10 digit then click on the register so this is our main user interface where we have a different section or we can say we have different modules so that uh, admin can handle according to his requirement so here we you can see we have a add, add exam section or setting the exam for the students then add notice section for adding the notices then the internship section for viewing the internship application feedback section for viewing the feedbacks and ratings uh, so let's see the exam section so in this section admin can set the exam for the students by adding the subject of exam details of the exam then link for the exam and date and time of the exam so let's enter the subject as a data science here we need to add the link Here we need to enter the date for the exam and time. Then click on the add exam button. Yes, so we have successfully added the exam. Again, we go to the exam section. So here can see the view exam button so after clicking on this button admin can see all the exams that are set for the students so we can see here we have set the exam as a subject name data science if we click on this so here we can see all the details of the exam and if I click on the ok so it will open that uh, URL and if the admin wants to delete the exam so you can simply click on the delete exam button so let's delete the exam as a ebms subject name so it will ask are you sure you want to delete this exam so click on the ok so here the exam 
is deleted. Go back and uh, next we see the notice section. So here admin can add the important notices. Let's add the subject as a exam. And description as in tomorrow we have exam or uh, data science. Then we click on the add notice. So after clicking on the add notice, it will send the notification to the user side that we will see later. Again, go to the notice section. So here, admin can also delete the notices. So let's delete the notice as a subject as a fees. So it, uh, so as you can see, the notice subject as fees is deleted. Next, we have internship section. So here we can see the internship internship application of the students after clicking on the application admin can see the contact details of the student so if admin wants to call the student click on the ok then we have a feedback section where uh, admin can see the feedbacks that, uh, that came from the students and at last we have a study material section so over here uh, admin can add the important study material for the students so let's enter the subject name as uh, data science The description then here we need to upload the file so it will say course material we added successfully And this one is the about section so this section contains the information about the application you can also add the details about each module in the in this section in this application now we will log out from this admin module now let's see the user module as i have already registered as a user so let's directly enter the login details and login so coming to the user model we have this six section exam notice internship and feedback and the study material let's see the one by one so this one is the exam section where we can see the upcoming exam so So previously we have uh, added the data science exam subject from the admin module so this one is the exam and if we click on the open it will open the exam then in the notice section it will so it will trigger the notification as you can see this is the notification tomorrow we have exam for the data science that we have previously added on the side of the admin module now this is the internship section so here uh, for applying the internship we need to select the domain so let's select the web development as a domain then duration of the internship here we need to enter the name then mobile number click on the apply now button 
yes we have successfully applied for the internship then feedback section here we need to enter the feedback details and all that so if I directly click on the send feedback it will show the error as subject is required so it will validate all the fields required so at last we have this study material section so here we can see the different study materials for different subject so if the user wants to search for any particular subject so let's enter the data science so as you can see it will show the study material for that particular subject so if i click on this subject material again enter the data science so if i click on this subject material it will uh, ask the user that we want to download this file click on the download you can download it so this is all about the user after downloading you will uh, receive the complete source code so here this is the source code of this project and you need to directly open this in android studio for running the project then uh, we have a presentation as ppt and then the documentation which has up to 50 pages and then we have the apk